presentation. On the world tour, they'll teach them how to use their avatar, because that's pretty important, right? They will also take them from department to department and explain which kinds of questions apply to this department. We're helping to get people connected and to have them integrated more closely with what we're trying to accomplish, and that is to provide a service platform so that you spend more time with your clients while we spend time taking care of you. Is that awesome? I think that's awesome. And just that, because that, by the way, is a ginormous project that we've been working on. There are a lot of people who helped build that. But here's the one thing about the Explore Guide that I didn't say that I think is really important. And that is that this document or this URL is live and breathing, which means that as things change, because we change so quickly, we have the ability to make real-time changes. No more PDFs that you all have that are outdated. You'll have up-to-date information when you learn to go to the Explore Guide, okay? So the other thing that we've added, it just recently, probably within the last week and a half or so, is we launched the Agent Faculty Program. Yeah, right? This is good news. And the reason this is good news is twofold. Number one, I think EXP does an incredible job of really great talent attracting other really great talent. Right? The evidence is here, right? So here's the thing. If we were attracting really great talent, or attracting people who come to us with experience, we're attracting people who are teachers and instructors and coaches and leaders in their local community, some on a national level. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this from the inside out. We don't need to go outside our walls to bring good training and education to us. It's in this room. It's in this company. So what we're going to do is we've built a program called the Agent Faculty Program. Uh, you will discover... See, we want you. But here, there's some contingencies. It's real estate. There's always contingencies, right? So we want you, but we want to make sure we have the best of the best. And the way we're going to do that is we've created an application for you to fill out. We're going to interview you. Then we're going to have you send us some video of you teaching. Because I, like the gatekeeper, I need to make sure that we are the best of the best. We are not version 2.0 of some other company. We are version 1.0 amazing ESP. and this is how you represent yourself. These core values, this is the only company I've ever been affiliated with um, where the core values, the last time I heard about them was at my orientation, right? Do you hear about these things all the time? Are they in your head? Do you have them posted in your offices, uh, in your bathroom mirror? I don't care where they are, but you have to, this is part of it. This is the fiber of who we are as a company. And so I want to make sure that when we have the best of the best, representing the best of the best, then we should have the people who believe what we say we believe and we do what we say we do, then I think we have something that's worth sharing. So there's an application for you um, on the EXP University Workplace Group page. Okay? Go fill that out. Uh, the next couple of weeks, we're going to let some things settle down from here that bubble up, uh, and then we will be reviewing all those applications. Before I got to know them, uh, I think we had 52 applications already in progress. So congratulations and thank you because this is real, real, real important for us to be able to give back and share what we know already as, as agents serving agents. Fair? All right. So next thing I want to chat with you about is this is the, the slides kind of ugly. <coughs> Fair? It's just kind of boring. But here's the deal. The reason it's kind of ugly is because it's under construction. So what we're doing is probably by mid-2019 we'll have this fully implemented. But what this is should make you all real, real excited. And what that is is Agent 365. So we know that, you know, Lynn said this morning that we're just a bunch of, he probably didn't say weirdos. I think I said weirdo. But he said goofball or something. I don't know. But we're weird. We're not normal. But because we're not normal, it's a hard transition sometimes for people when they, when they believe the dream and they get the concept, then to actually walk it out when they get here, right? There's a little disillusionment, there's a little confusion, we want to fix that. So Agent 365 is something that we're building that takes every new to EXP agent through their first year with a personal concierge and a point of contact and someone who can help them get the answers to get them. stages, uh, but it, the idea is we've already put some of the pieces in place. The concierges are 
part of that. The world tours are a part of that. The new orientation is a part of that. We're doing some layering to get this going, but we'll start them from their app till day 365. They'll have someone that they can talk to, someone they can connect to, someone who will reach out to them and make sure that they have the information that they need, they have the support that they need, and we can just go on about the business of selling real estate. Okay? All right, the next thing I want to share with you is really important to me, and I think this is what makes our agent experience uh, department real uh, valuable to you, but I think the most important thing that we're figuring out is that our company needs community and connectivity, and we're going to get that through service. You do that with your clients. I do that with my clients. I'm still an agent. I will, I will eternally be an agent at heart, right? I love it. I love the client situations. I think they're lots of fun. Jill's video last night, the way Sandra is, I'm like, well, I think I must be schizophrenic because I can totally relate to both sides of that craziness. But it is a privilege and an honor for us to serve our clients. That translates for me and for agent experience. It's a privilege and it's an honor to serve you guys. And so I want to share a couple of little things with you on how we can have community and how we can be connected. Workplace groups and chat. I know it's, it, Scott said it earlier when he said, you know, none of us talked about what we're sharing today, so it's been pretty funny to sit here and watch and go, oh, I have that slide, that's pretty close to my slide, that's awesome, right? But it's good, right? So here's the deal, workplace groups. I know, I, I don't know how you feel about it, to be honest with you, I think most of you get it and understand but that little core value that we have called collaboration. I think we use it a lot, we talk about it a lot, but I wanna show you in a practical way what that means. If I'm an agent in Kentucky, or anywhere else, or I'm an agent in California, or anywhere else, how am I ever gonna learn if I'm in Kentucky and I'm in California from the people in California and the people in Kentucky? It's real hard, it's real difficult. We have a platform that says, hey, listen, tell me what you know. Because is it true that a rising tide lifts all boats? Do you feel like you're in the tide? Do you feel like you're a boat? Do you want to be both? Right? Come on. You want to be a contributor to the tide to get the boat up. Here's how that happens. It is through collaboration. It is through service. It is through community. It is through connectivity. These are the things that we do. This is the tool and the vehicle. Listen, I can answer a chat fairly quickly. Can you not? Are you instant message people? Isn't that so much easier than digging through 784, 85, 86, 78, and 9 emails? Yes. It's a big difference, right? It makes it easier to connect. So using workplace groups to collaborate with one another, to communicate quickly with, uh, via chat, and not just with me to you and you to me, but you to you. You guys talk to each other. You know lots of stuff. You can help each other out. Join these groups, pay attention, engage. I'll tell you right now that I spend about three hours a day in just workplace, group, and chat. And I do that so that I can communicate with you and I can hear what you're hearing, I can see what you're seeing, so that I know what's happening, because that's real important. I have a liaison that goes to all of our departmental meetings, so that, and I get notes at the end of every day, so I know what's happening in every department. Where are the struggles? What are the successes? We have to know that because we're aging experience. It's what we do. We fix that stuff. Okay, all right, world education opportunities. I talked a little bit about that. I didn't mention to you earlier about the EXPAND program. I want to say one brief thing to you. If you are in this room, it is likely that you have some real estate experience, you know what you're doing, and you're closing some deals. Is that an honest or assessment? Okay, listen, if you are not a mentor, we need mentors. So let me just tell you a little teeny, little, little teeny thing you should know. In the month of September, we onboarded over 500 brand new licensees. That's huge. They're the future of our company, right? But listen, if I don't have enough mentors to help them, it doesn't matter that we brought them on. We're not setting them up for success. So what we need to do is we, the collective we, need to get on the uh, university page and find the application to be a mentor and get that thing filled out. And this is part of how you become part of that rising tide. Fair? All right, uh, agent assistance, the agent, ex um, the agent experience concierge, there we go, are there to help you, so they will direct you to the right place, the guide and the tours we've talked about already. ExpCon, you're here. Isn't this an amazing place for you to connect and get connected and stay connected with people? Please make that your common theme today. Uh, the Shareholder Summit comes in the spring. You don't want to miss that either. There's good information that happens. It's a good update. It's a really great place for connection. 
And then local events. If you're doing something uh, locally, speak. Let people know and connect with one another. That's how you're going to build this. So get connected and stay connected. I have a couple of things I want to share in closing. And one is that the agent experience department has a question. You're going to love when you come visit us. We're going to make sure you love when you come visit us. So here's the deal. Because it's agent experience, I think we should have an agent experience. Do you not? All right, so let's have a little human experience mixed up with a little southern experience. And what you're about to get is a little love from the crew at agent experience. And so I will say, they say they roll the tambourine. So good time to roll. And here's some southern presents for you. So coming in the aisles are some people handing out some phrases for you. So here we go.
they are so passionate about providing broker support that just one more time, we wanted to go ahead and bring back out our broker of the year, Jeffrey Guest, and our managing broker of the year,
Great, thanks so much. Next up, we have uh, Brian. We, I want to give a special thanks to Brian. Brian is our corporate recruiter, so he's going to make sure that we add more smart people to help all of you. We ask you to fill in our workplace because the rest of the team is busy. So, Brian, first of all, thank you, and tell us what's going on in your area. Thanks, Mitch. And yeah, a huge workplace fan, so I'm happy to, to represent it. If you all need any help downloading any of the apps, knowing how to stop those pesky emails coming through, uh, or just need some really uh, recommendations on some great groups, stop by. I've met a ton of you already. I'd like to meet all of you in the room. Uh, so definitely come by if you have a chance and I'll, I'll help you out. And Brian, I hear you have handouts. Is that true? I've got a ton of handouts. So great things to take home so you don't have to do everything right away. Brian, uh, you now need more drink tickets. No. Uh, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Okay, next up we've got uh, our other Brian, and Brian, introduce yourself and tell us what area you're helping with. I'm Brian Hoffbauer, I'm with uh, Tech Support, you break it, I fix it. <laughs> Brian was looking for the mic drop moment, I think he <laughs> What kind of things are you helping people with, Brian? I had some resolution issues with uh, people bringing their laptops over to my desk, and uh, just fixing the in-world resolution issues, password resets, getting the uh, passport accounts active and working on phones. Great. I mean, we have something here for all of you. Take advantage of that Brian's here. And then my buddy Brad Anderson. Brad Anderson. Oh. Oh. Brad, tell us, uh, tell us about your area and what's going on. I just came here to say thanks to everybody, and I can't say why it's, it's gone. <laughs> My voice is toast. Uh, I'm in education, I'm with Ancient Experience, and I really did come here just to say thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, I'm here because of you, I work for you, and I don't just want to witness your success, I want to contribute to it. So let me do that. Thank you. <laughs> so much about the Explorer Guide. So if you're like, where do I start? Where do I go? Brad is the guy that will show you how to do that, right? And then Kirk, down on the end. I'm the, uh, Kirk Lattner. I'm the Director of Product Management. <laughs> uh, been working with Steve, of course, on the Enterprise application desk up front. I want to thank everybody who stopped by. The feedback that you give us is incredibly valuable in helping us focus our energies to give you exactly what makes you succeed. So thank you everybody who stopped by. And I know Mitch is going to ask me this question. What are some of the great topics? Well, we've had a lot of people come and remark that they really love the changes we made to the Revenue Share Dashboard. So if you haven't been able to check, please do so. You can now see what's anticipated in your next check. You can also go and look at the periodic overview and see every single transaction that's in there, the property address, the agent who completed that transaction, and the amount of rev share that was contributed to you. So I encourage everybody to go and look at that if you haven't already. And if you haven't, haven't already stopped out to see us, please do so. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you, Kurt. I mean, that's one of the things that makes this company special. We pulled the heavy hitters out just to work with you individually or in small groups over there. So during lunch, during breaks, a little bit afterwards, tomorrow morning, these guys have the hardest job here this week because I just come up here and tell a few jokes and hope you laugh. These guys are doing hard work up here. And thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to let you guys go because in a second, they're all going to run out of the room and want to talk to you. So you guys can, can head back and get to your stations. Thank you all very much. We have an afternoon, again, we'll see if it works. We have an afternoon that's going to be outstanding. We have another panel, we have great speakers, we have some guest speakers. It's going to be a big afternoon. We're going to meet back in here at 1.30. Please do not be late. I don't want to ring the chimes. Just get back in your seat at 1.30. We will see you then. Lunch is right across the hallway. We'll see you soon. Thanks for being here.